Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, yesterday we exalted the glorious cross on which the Savior of the world died. Today we look at the foot of the cross where Mary stands and shares in the redemptive suffering of Jesus. Let us now beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to see him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. 
And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Please stand. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, without dying you won the Murtis crown beneath the cross of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, is it right to celebrate sorrows? I ask this question because we normally do not like sorrows. We try to avoid them. We do many things in order to forget them. Normally, sorrows are something we dislike, we avoid, and we abhor. And yet today, we celebrate Mary 
Our Lady of Sorrows. Are we masochists and sadists that enjoy sorrow so much that we celebrate even Mary's sorrows? My dear brothers and sisters, today we are reminded that while life is not without sorrows, that life will always be with sorrows. Sorrows are God's ways of imparting to us important lessons in life. While life is always with sorrows, it is up to us to allow sorrows to make us or to break us, to, to allow us to grow or to destroy us. As Mary stood by the cross of Jesus, and as Mary witnessed the sufferings of her son, Mary learned an important lesson. The lesson of what true faith means. Just imagine how Mary felt as she looks at her son hanging on the cross. It must have crushed his, her heart. And it could have been very easy for Mary to just give up her faith in God. Katulad ng marami sa atin na mabilis na nagdududa sa Diyos, mabilis na tinatalikuran ang pananampalataya sa Diyos dahil sa mga paghihirap at pighati na pinagdaraanan natin sa ating buhay. Mary could have just doubted God. But no, beneath her tears, Mary learned what true faith means. Beneath her sorrows, Mary held on to her faith in God. Jesus, the Son of God, also suffered and in his suffering, Jesus also learned an important lesson. According to our first reading today from the letter to the Hebrews, Son though he was, Jesus learned obedience from what he suffered. In his sufferings, Jesus learned an important lesson obedience, the total abandonment of his life to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we all suffer in this life. The magnitude of our sufferings may vary from one person to another, but we all have, we all have our own sorrows we experience many pains. But the question is, what have these sorrows taught us? What have these sorrows made of us? Kung hindi natin may iwasan ang pagdurus at pighati sa ating buhay, ano ang mga natutunan natin sa mga pagdurus at pighating ating pinagdaraanan? Ano ang ginawa sa atin ng mga pagdurusa at pighating ito? Let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that beneath life's pains, sufferings, and sorrows are important lessons taught by God. May Mary, our sorrowful mother, help us discover them.
please stand. Together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to God for those who have heavy crosses to bear, as we say, Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us faithful, faithful like, like Mary, Mary, O Lord. That we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us faithful, faithful like Mary, Mary O Lord. Lord. That through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us faithful, faithful like, like Mary, Mary, O Lord. That in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us faithful, faithful like, like Mary, Mary, O Lord. Lord that those who suffer through sickness may find Mary a true refuge and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep us, us faithful, faithful like, like Mary, Mary, O Lord. Lord. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God of all grace, your plan for the world surpasses all our expectations. Keep us trusting in the power of your saving love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O merciful God, <clears throat> to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. 
heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves, for the Church's sake, what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.